everybody. Anyways, uh, I want to introduce myself, uh, executive chef from Roger Rockas, and we are going to be doing boneless beef short ribs, featuring Fresno State wine, Alicante Boucher. Hopefully, I'm pronouncing that right, but that's that's what we're working with today. It has a it has an oaky flavor. Um, a little bit of plum, a little bit of cherry. Uh, it's gonna be dynamite with the beef short ribs. So, let's get started. This is uh, this cut is uh, known as the chuck tail flap. Uh, the beautiful marbling here is great for braising. Um, and we're just gonna trim it up a bit. I usually, there's not really much of a fat back on it. So, uh, and that cooks down and that's just flavor. So, we're gonna marinate the short ribs. With the marinade is a bottle of wine and a maripois, which is carrots, onion, and celery. We're gonna, we're gonna actually just uh, saute these up just a little bit. And, this is the celery, and then the carrots. And I do about a half bunch of flat leaf parsley. And then this is fresh bay leaves from my garden, actually, and fresh thyme from my garden, and garlic cloves. We're gonna be braising with the ribs so they don't have to saute, saute, but all we wanna do is cook the alcohol out of the wine. We bring this up to a boil, so a whole bottle. And once this reaches a boil, then we take it off the heat and let it cool and then we will add it to our ribs to marinate. In a pan, we're just gonna put these ribs in. And I've done, a, I've done a, this is about six pounds um, of ribs. And then we're, this is a cooled mixture of the marinade. Put it all in there and just, let it, let it marinate for 24 hours. So we'll cover this up, put it in the ice box. So after they've marinated for 24 hours, we're gonna take these out and season them with salt, pepper, fresh ground pepper, and granulated garlic. A little bit of olive oil. And season pretty aggressively. Salt, kosher salt, fresh ground pepper. And then we're gonna turn them around, season the other side. Kosher salt, fresh ground pepper, and granulated garlic. And that's it, and then we'll get them ready on the grill. Beautiful. We're just gonna uh, give this a good, uh, Good char on the outside, about, about a minute and a half on each side. A lot of times people will pan sear it and that would be totally fine too, but I really like the grill flavor of the short ribs. So just a nice char like that, that's great. And now we're gonna portion out these ribs and then add them into the reserved marinade. They do shrink while cooking, so, but those are good size. The reserved wine marinade from, uh, for the ribs is in there, and then you just want to cover with uh, beef broth. And you really literally want the ribs to swim and completely covered. And then you're going to add some parchment paper and let that because that keeps the top ribs from uh, not browning as much. And then we're gonna cover it with foil and we're gonna cook it for about three and a half to four hours at 325 degrees. And it seems like a long time, but it's worth it. You cook the ribs actually the day before and then that way you can skim off the fat. Let them cool and skim off the fat and then you can make a reduction out of that, out of the sauce. So let's check the ribs and see where they're at. Yeah, 
and these are just melt in your mouth tender. What we're gonna do is make a reduction with this sauce. We're gonna skim it, and uh, which I already did. And then we will go ahead and add some port wine and some uh, alicante. The braising liquid from the short ribs plus some port wine, and that adds a little bit of sweetness. And then actually doing a little bit of Alicante, Fresno State Winery wine, and you let this reduce till it kind of coats the back of the spoon. Slow reduce, it would be maybe half an hour from now. Letting this reduce, this is kind of what you want. You want you want it pretty thick. We'll start plating up our short ribs. I made some mash, uh, but what you can you can serve all kinds of things with the short ribs. So use your imagination. Soft polenta would be great. So in plating up, mm, that's beautiful. Okay, a little bit of the sauce. And then I did some baby carrots. And then the final touch, a little gremolata. And that's just uh, garlic, parsley, and lemon zest. And that's a beautiful plate. So this is the Bray Short Ribs, and uh, thank you for tuning in, watching, and uh, enjoy. Peace. I don't know what to say. I didn't. I didn't think about that. Alicante Boucher. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs>